So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mask code at this side. Welcome to lecture number 25 of the linked list series. And in this video, we are going to discuss the question K sorted W linked list. We have to sort it, right? So what is the meaning of K sorted W linked list? We actually know what is the meaning of W linked list. We just need to know the meaning of K sorted. So K sorted states that if I write down the sorted order of this linked list, which would look something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Am I correct? This will be the sorted order, right? Something like this. I have made the connections, right? Now, it says that 3. Suppose I say that this linked list is 2 sorted, right? K, K here is 2. That means 3 can be at a distance of maximum 2. 3 can be at a distance of maximum K from its correct position that is in the sorted order 3 is here in the original order 3 is here that means the distance between them is 2 nodes you can see 1 and 2 right same similarly 2 distance is 0 distance is 2 here for 1 distance is 2 for 5 distance is 1 for 6 distance is 1 for 5 for 4 distance is 2 and the distance can be in either direction it can be in the positive direction as well in the negative direction as well right Distance can be in either direction. Okay. Now we have to sort it. We have to sort it. How will we do that? How will we do that? So first approach is to put a sorting order. To sort it simply. Right. I don't care about that this is K sorted or not. This is unsorted for me. This is unsorted for me. I will just use the merge sort I learned for the single link list. Apply it for the double link list and put it here. Apply it for the W linked list, put it here. So this will be my first approach to use merge sort. To use merge sort. What is the time complexity there? O of n log n. Right? Simple and sorted. O of n log n, we are able to solve the problem. Okay. Can we try to use k sorted given to us to actually optimize it? To actually optimize it. I will again use a sorting technique, but this time I will be using insertion sort. I will be using insertion sort. So how does insertion sort works? Let me try, uh, tell you with the help of an array. So suppose my array is 3, 2, 1, 5, 6, 4, right? The insertion sort works something like this. I will put a value 3, right? Now I will see 2, I will see 2, I will see 2 and I will see that where will 3 lie, where will 2 lie in the correct order. So 2 will have to lie uh, before 3. So 3 will move forward and 2 will come here. Similarly, 1, I will again find the position. So, 1, 2, 3 will be my answer right now. 5, 5 will come here only. 6, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. Then 4, 4 will have to come here. So, order will now become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As you can see, uh, each iteration can have a maximum of n changes. That is, if 4 was actually 1, then I have to place this 1 here. Right? If some position is 0, I have to place this at this position, right? At this position. So I will have to shift all of these, all of these elements which are equals to n minus 1. So in each iteration that can happen, suppose that in given uh, order to me is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What will happen? I will place 6 first. Then for 5, I will shift the 6 again. So 5, 6. For 4, I will say five, 4, 5, 6. For 3, what will happen? I will say 3, 4, 5, 6. You can see here it was uh, 1. I have to change the 6 position to one, uh, one's position forward. For, for, for 4, I have to change 2 operations. For 3, I have to change 3 operations. Up till, up till, up till, up till. So, in the end, if you see, the time complexity will be O of n squared. O of n squared. Which is not an efficient time, time complexity. But, in this case, in the given case, it has been mentioned that each element can be at most k forward or backward k forward or backward that means at each iteration i have to do at most k operations i have to do at most k operations so that changes my time complexity to o of n k o of n k that is in this case if k is k sorted then if zero is present then zero must be present in these first two nodes only if the, in this first three nodes only right it cannot be present in this in, in at this position and n minus one iterations are not possible at max for each node k iterations are possible and that reduces the time complexity from o of n square to o of n k to o of n k but we already figured out an uh, explanation of o of n log n right it might be possible that o of n log n 
is greater than O of n k for some given constraints of n and k, right? Now, can I try to find an optimized solution for this? Can I try to find an optimized solution for this that doesn't work in O of n log n, that doesn't work in O of n, but it is still more uh, optimized and cleaner to write. It is still more optimized and cleaner to write. What will I do? I will sort it using a heap, using a min heap to be specific, using a min heap. Again, let me write down the array representation of my doubly linked list. Then we will just shift the approach from array to doubly linked list because that is easy, you know. So array given to me is 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6. I will take a heap of size k plus 1. I will take a heap of size k plus 1. Now it has been given to me that suppose k is equal to 2 here, right? k is equal to 2. Now, my question to you is, suppose I have to insert my first node at this position. I have to insert my first node at this position. Is it evident that this node will be filled up by these three elements? One of these three elements. Why? Because it has been mentioned that what is the distance of this node filled from this? It is 0. 2 from the given node, it is 1. Let me name it as x. 1 from the given node, 2. 4 from the given node, 3. So 4 cannot fill this position. 4 cannot fill this position because distance of 4 and x is greater than k. I want a distance of k. So these three elements, which is equal to k plus n one element, will give me my first node. Will be, will be giving my first node. So I am saying that if I just sort these three up, if I just sort first k plus 1 elements, k first k plus an ele uh, 1 elements, it will definitely give me my head. It will definitely give me my sorted order head. So what will I do? I will use a min heap. Now min heap sorts the uh, nodes on the basis of the smallest value. That is the smallest value will come on the top. So after I put the nodes in the min heap, that is first k plus 1 nodes, it will look something like this. Address to 3 node, address to 2 node, address to 1 node, right? It is of size k plus 1. Now, the top element will give me the node that has to be present on this position. So what will I do? I will just say that x is 1. x is 1. Again, I will be using dummy here. So dummy a, a is next is equals to 1. a is next is equals to 1. Once, next is, once previous is equals to a, a will come here. a will come here. Now, for the further iteration, suppose y, which has to be connected on the second position. What are the, minim, uh, what are the positions possible? So you can see that we have actually 3, 2, 1 in our linked list. We popped out 1, right? Y can actually go up till 4. Y can actually include up till 4. Now, we have already popped out 1. That means if we just push in 4, then we will get the out, 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 output of 3, 2 and 4. So, that is I popped out 4. If I push in 1, if I push in 4, if I push in 4, then based on the data, 4 will come at last because it is the greatest. 4 will come at last and 2 will be the above 1. So, I will say... 2 here, right? Moving on, 4, after that 5, I will push in 5, 5 will come here by God's grace. Moving on, 2 uh, has been popped out, 3 is the, uh, so 3 here. Moving on, 5, I have to push in 6 also now, 6 will come below it. So, I will just 4, 5 and 6, my link list will do something like 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6, I know that you have many doubts here, let me clear that one, one clear them out one by one. First is, why didn't I put all the elements inside priority queue? Why didn't I put all elements inside priority queue at once? At once. The two reasons are because I want to make it optimized. Right? How? If, if I put all the elements in it, then I will be using a space of O of n and a time complexity of O of n log n. Why? Because it requires n log n, oh, log n time to put an element in the priority queue. But now, uh, in the algorithm I just stated, what is happening? I am using a space of O of k plus 1, which actually equals to O of k only, right? Because I am just putting k plus n 1 elements in the priority queue, right? And then what is the time complexity? O of n log k. Why k? Because the maximum size of the priority queue is k. So, to insert or to pop out any element from the priority queue, it will take only log k times. So, O of n log k is my time complexity. O of n log n was already achievable by me in the case of merge sort, right? So, why will I go for that? I will be using an optimized approach. So, O of n log k is my time complexity. O of k is my space complexity, right? Moving on, how to put this into the code? How to code it down? So, let us come to the coding area of it. 
So what will happen? I will create a dummy node minus one, right? Let me test dummy A here, right? Now my link list is something looking like three, one, two, four, six, five, right? Three, one, two, four, five, six. Name it as K sorted. That is K equals to two here. What will I do? I will create a priority queue. I will create a priority queue. My first step will be to insert K plus one nodes. To insert K plus one nodes is present. It is also possible that the link list size is given to me as one only. That is, I have been given one node three and K is given to me as two. So what will I do? I will use a loop that runs something like this. For I equals to zero, I less than equals to K and head is not equals to null. So it temp is not equal to null. Obviously temp is initialized by head only and then temp equals to temp next for further iterations. Temp equals to temp next also i plus plus right. What will happen? I will say pq dot push the temp and that's it because we have handled the temp equals to temp next in the updation condition only. So what will happen for k equals to 2 it will push 3 nodes 3 1 and 2 which will be arranged automatically in the order 3 2 1. Now what will happen? I have my dummy node A, I have my priority queue A here, right? What will I do? I will say while priority queue is not empty, while priority queue is not empty, what will happen what, if priority queue is not empty? So I will say A next equals to PQ dot top, right? And then PQ dot top previous equals to A. Then a equals to a next. I can just pop it out pq dot pop, right? So what is happening is a next equals to one. So one is connected here. This node pq dot top previous equals to a. A equals to a next. Pq dot pop. Pop it out, right? We have a reference to one. Now what will happen? My temp is now here because of these iterations. Now what will happen if temp is not equal to null? Push it into the queue. If temp is not equal to null, push it into the queue. If temp is not equals to null, pq dot push your temp. That's all. Temp is here, so I will just do four here. Oh, sorry, four into the node, and four will come here. Moving on, it will uh, after that it will put six. After that it will put five. Right? The link list will continue. The link list will continue. So let me run down the write down the dry code, dry run code for it, and then you will see that how are the things actually working very neatly. Give me some time. All right. So let us try with the start with the dry run. Temp is here. I will just put three nodes because k is equal to two given to me, right? Three nodes. So three, two, one, right? And temp is after these iterations. Temp will come here. Now my work with the answer link list start. What will I do? I will just pop it out and I will say a next equals to temp. Temp. Oh, sorry. Pq dot top. Pq dot top previous equals to a and then pop it out, right? Moving on, A will come here. Then I will just, my temp is here right now. I will push temp. So 2, 3, 5 will come here. 5 will come here. Now I will pop out 2. I will pop out 2. It will look something like this now. 2 here, A here. Right, temp is now here. Moving on, I will think 6 is a, six is not equal to null right now. Temp is not equal to null. 6 here, 3 here, A here, temp here. I am saying 4 is also not null right now. I will push 4, 3 is also popped out, 4 will come on the top, 4 will come on the top. So 4 here, A here, temp comes here. Now temp is equals to null now, temp is equals to null. So I will not push any node, I will just carry out the operation of adding into the link list these two elements. So first 5, pop it out, then 6, pop it out. My priority queue becomes empty and my A is currently here. I will just say A next equals to null. Right now, this is my link list. No, this is not my answer link list. Why? Because we have to delete this node. So what will happen right now is I will say my head is equals to dummy next. I will say head equals to dummy next. After that, delete your dummy. And after that, heads previous equals to null because it is a doubling list. So let us not take any risk and heads previous equals to null. Right? By this way, what will happen? This will get deleted and head previous will point to null, which you wanted. 
the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is the linked list I wanted as my answer. Isn't it right? Am I correct? Okay. So, let us move to the code of it. Let us move to the code of it. And believe me, if you will follow my deed, the code is actually very, very, very easy. Okay. So, let us follow it. Alright. So, here is the coding section. I am using GFG platform to code it down. So, let us start with it. So, I will first create a priority queue as discussed. Priority queue. Now, I want it as a mini, so I will have to write something extra. So, DLL node because I want to store the reference of the node itself. So, vector of DLL node star and then I will use a compare function to actually store it as a min heap. So, I will write the implementation of the uh, compare function follow it along. So, for that I will have to make a new struct name as compare only and then in it I will say bool operator and I will take the two nodes DLL node star p1 let us say and dll node star p2 now what we have to do i have to do the following thing return p1 data i have to judge on the basis of data is greater than p2 data this will give me my min heap on the basis of my data those of you who do not know about this priority implementation please read it through the article of gfg okay it is clearly mentioned and it will just confuse if you if i try to explain you so please help yourself and find it on the GFG. It is really important. So please do not skip it. Right? Uh, watch it out on the GFG. DLL node star temp. What is temp used for? Temp is used for traversal on the original link list. Now we'll make a dummy node. DLL node star dummy equals to new DLL node. DLL means double link list of value minus one. Let us say of value minus one and I will assign a DLL node of uh, name A to traverse the uh, answer list which is stored in the dummy right now A equals to dummy. Now what will happen for int i equals to zero that is initialization of the priority queue for int i equals to zero i less than uh, temp is not sorry temp is not equals to null and i is less than equals to k what will happen I will say i plus plus pq dot push the temp and now temp equals to temp next temp equals to temp next you can add the temp equal to temp next in the updation statement as well okay moving on i will continue to add to the link list while my pq is not empty while my priority queue is not empty what will happen i will say next of a the traversal pointer is equals to pq dot top pq dot top Previous equals to a. We have to connect two way in the Dublin list, right? As well, I, I guess you remember that. Let me write. Uh, okay, it just says. Okay, now a equals to a next. A equals to a next. That is moved to the pointer you wanted to. Now you can say pq dot pop. That is the work of this node has been completed. Let us pop it out. Now what will happen if my temp is not equal to null? In that case, pq dot push the temp. Pq dot push the temp and temp will move to temp next. Temp will move to temp next after that what will happen after that i will just have to delete the dummy node i will just have to delete the dummy node so let me move down and after that i will just say head equals to dummy next head equals to dummy next you can delete your dummy safely delete dummy head previous equals to null now and simply return your head return I hope it will work. Let us try to compile and run it. I guess I have not committed any typing mistake. It is not running fine. There is some problem. Definition does not declare the parameters. What is the problem? Let me see. DLL node. Oh, it not be curly braces. Sorry for the fault, guys. It is not curly braces. Okay. Let us try it now. Now it, will, uh, now it should work, I guess. Oh, again, uh, oh, struct definition, semicolon missing. Let us try it out again. It should work now. There is some error. There is some error. What is the error? All right, so I found out the error. As I said, I have to make it as null. I have to make the last node as null, right? Because the last of the link is also null. Let us try it now. It should run fine now. And it is taking, the, okay, it is running fine. Let us try it for submit as well. In the meantime, do consider subscribing to my channel because it really motivates me as you know. It is running fine and it has been run. Okay. 
so thank you for watching and we'll meet again in the new lecture till then stay tuned keep coding and have a nice day bye